Isengard vs Rohan, the Riddermark vs the White Hand in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 on a beautiful map, Forts of Brunin 2 in 2022, because that's what we do. Oh my goodness, Shanks the Rapper. Okay, it's an El Clasico matchup, just like in the films, but hopefully, unlike in the films, Isengard will be victorious this time. And my opening is also pretty damn strong, so it's gonna be quite challenging, trust me on that one. Okay, Uruk Pit and Avernus opening. That's the most safe opening you can do against good factions. That means even if you lose both your settlements outside, you should have still some money income from your castle. Okay, let's get this Lumber Mill and let's recruit more and more Uruks. When you play evil against good faction in this game, you need to play a bit more defensively. For that reason, we will be using the Warchant defensively and deal with those peasants now. Remember, Isengard is the faction out of all four factions in the game, which has only one starting unit at the beginning. So, which kind of makes sense because Uruks, they are the strongest and the fastest swordmen and you can make them even stronger with the Warchant. So having two of them at the beginning of the game would make Isengard to the most OP faction in the entire game. Trust me on that one. And Rohan is a bit more, you know, it's like, it's, I wouldn't say it's harder to deal with than Gondor, because Gondor can use the Elven Wood, which makes Gondor also pretty strong, but keep in mind that Gondor has only two soldiers, while Rohan can, you know, recruit additional peasants from every single farm they got. But luckily for us, the Uruks are much stronger than peasants in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and for that reason, we should be able to defend ourselves. The Hobbit is annoying to Mariora Brandybuck. Because losing the workers is almost as bad as losing the lumber mill itself. Because without workers, without them working for your mill, you cannot make any money. Okay, he's sending more and more peasants. Uh, we should be able to deal with that. And very soon, with the next war chant, we will also try to creep as much as we can. Mary, you are annoying me, Mary of Brandy, just like your cousin, Peregrine Took. Okay, it's important to kill this one peasant, by the way, because the one peasant can actually, you know, kill so many workers of us, and we don't want that to happen. Beautiful formation to make them more tanky, and keep defending all the time. We need one more Uruk, we need actually two more to get the Uruk to level 2, which is essential against good factions to recruit the pikemen to counter the cavalry. In this case, the Rohirrim. And this is gonna be an awesome matchup. I hope you will enjoy this, guys. Because there is a chance we might see also, you know, Theodine and Elma and Legolas and Aragorn from him and from us, Lourdes and Saruman. Okay, so we also need to creep now. Watch this. I'm gonna... Oh, oh, oh. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm gonna use the war chant on four of them. Then we're gonna split them to creep both this at the same time. We go there. And you guys go there. Okay. I mean, this Mary is actually getting on my nerves. Like, he's so annoying, you know? <laughs> we gotta find a solution to this. Uh, Lourdes can kill him. And by the way, if you, know, if you don't know, if you right click on Lourdes' ability, the cripple, and even if the Hobbit is invisible, he will be able to find him. So that's like a very good way to deal with invisible units, in this case the, the Hobbits, if they are blocking one of your settlements. You can also use obviously Vision of Palantir or Eye of Sauron when you play Mordor, but also with Rohan, Eomat, Pietro, Gimli's Extro, Visa Plus, Easterylite, Faramir's Warning Arrow, you can right click on them, and if there is no other nearby enemy unit, they will automatically cast the ability on the next invisible unit, in this case the Hobbit. Okay, let's creep this one as well, that's good. They are getting closer and closer to the sub-power spike of the industry, which is very important to get a bit more money, because our eco is still not looking very good. But now we have three Lammermills, which gives us more wood bonus, and with the wood bonus we need to, you know, fill up the base as quickly as we can, because very soon he will have Rohirrim on the field, and we will have a hard time to keep those mills protected. Okay, I mean, everything is becoming cheaper. So let's kill this hobbit, please. <laughs> yes, Rohirrim, he was also creeping already. 
And we are really close, really, really close. And, you know, when it comes to build towers, I'm a player who likes to build a bit more. Because they are so cheap, but they give you so much security. And I think it's not, <laughs> it's not a waste of money. You will eventually need them. And even if you don't, you know, better safe than sorry. Peasants, level 2. You gotta, be you know, get some Berserkers on the field to deal with them. And that's what I'm talking about. Against Rohan, it's so much more difficult as Isengard to keep map control because he has so many easy and cheap counters to everything what you do. The Rohirrim are cheaper than Gondonites. The peasants are so fast recruited from the farms outside of the base. Oh, oh, you don't want to do this. Don't kill my level 2. Oh, you're annoying. Can we kill this level 2? Yes, we can. Berserker. Hitting like a truck. That's what you like to see. Let's recapture this one. And I think we also need to build a warp pit at some point of the game. And it's now. <laughs> okay, now we can recruit some warp riders to actually trample down his peasants and kind of try to contest the map control a bit. But again, even in late game, it's hard for Isengard to keep map control against Rohan because he will have Rohirrim with leadership, with Theorin and stuff. And also, if you don't know, the horseman shields are making them even better and stronger against you know enemy cavalry in this case our war riders are gonna get outskilled big time from the rohirrim can we steal this please oh he's going for it oh he got the last hit though, unfortunately but can we kill them please die oh he saved the banner carrier he saved the banner kid, it's annoying. And he got the money too. This guy is playing out of his mind. Hey, Berserker, please deal with the peasants, dude. He's getting knocked down on the ground. I mean, the good thing is we were able to capture this mill, but, uh, you know, we need loot. We need upgrades. We need more and more war riders. We need also... That's the thing. Isengard, uh, later on, we will have a lot of money, obviously, with, you know, devastation, with the field of fires and stuff like this. But until this moment... Isengard is struggling eco-wise because you have so expensive units in buildings. Your armory, your combination with Uruks and crossbowmen costs only 600 by itself. And then you have all the all the upgrades you need to purchase on them, like heavy armor, forge blades, banner carrier, fire arrows. It's so expensive. I'm gonna pick up the Palantir. This way, I can use them on the on the on the war carriers, and I can this way chase and catch the enemy Rohirrim. Oh, he has heavy armor already. He's so much ahead of us, guys. He's so far ahead. And he might also be really close for the Elven Ally Special Summon, which will be a nightmare situation. Because then he can just summon them and kill all the pikemen. I mean, to be honest, he doesn't even need them because he has many, many peasants. But very soon I will be able to trample down those peasants with the war riders. And then they have no more power here. As Theodin would like to see him as he was warm tongued by Saruman. Okay, we have also Lourdes. And we... the thing about Lourdes is the longer the longer the game goes on, the more valuable your Lourdes or more important your Lourdes is going to become. You know? Temple, hole, nice. I'm gonna use Palantir and hopefully we will be able to kill them. He has so many Rohirrim. He has some. Okay. Run, you fools. I'm gonna use um, Warchant. This way I can hurt those Elven warriors a little bit. <laughs> Good. I wanted to, uh, to save up for Saruman, but I can't. Oh my. Please move. I used the war. I look. <laughs> oh. I'm getting a heart attack. I lost the war rider in my war channel at the same time, like... Worst case scenario, I guess. Oh my goodness, he has heavy armor plus forge plates. He's so rich. He's so rich. Let's use cripple to kill one of them. He's coming inside the jeans. We need to try to demolish the towers in time. To not feed him any power points and try to defend. The elves, they are hitting like a truck. Our pikemen, they gotta stay inside the castle. That's very important. Luckily for us, we actually damaged them a lot. And he has also King Theoden, but we just crippled one of his Rohirrim. That means our lords kind of can't do anything about the situation. We gotta bail. bail. 
And I'm pretty tempted to buy the outpost at the top right side. Because the outpost is kind of hidden and it will be hard for them to find it, hopefully. <laughs> and we can eventually hide it, you know, for a long time and build furnaces in that. Okay, I mean, the elves, I don't know how much time they have left. But they are annoying as hell. He keeps rushing me, dude. And oh, this is gonna be painful. Losing the level uh, one furnace with the industry on it. Hey, what are you doing? You won't keep me. I won't let you kill my lords. What do you think? Look, he's spamming still more and more peasants all the time. And we lost one of the war guiders. It's unfortunate because we have no more war on the field, guys. I wanted to go for the armory and I didn't want to sacrifice it another furnace for it. And I demolished the war pit, hoping that I won't lose any of the war guiders, but it was definitely not the right call. Okay, I mean, the good thing is we have now our outpost and hopefully he will not be able to find the outpost anytime soon and we should be able to get a decent amount of money from there. We gotta try to scale. We gotta try to scale into the point in which we can, you know, make a big army with the Uruks, crossbowmen combination, pikemen, and then eventually even Saruman later on. And until this moment, we need to try to keep him a bit busy. You can, he cannot fight us, I think. Or can he? I don't know. We can, we can win this, I think. Or with the bleeds, we sure can. Okay, nice. So we have three, three furnaces with the outposts, and we are also kind of recapturing the map control a bit. That's very important. And after the fire, we can also demolish the armory and start finally making some army. Okay, I mean, he won't, uh, he won't let us get map control for free, obviously. Oh, dude, he has level 4 Rohirrim. And the Rohirrim are scaling so hard with the levels too. I'm gonna use Palantir and Warchant here. And also Hold Ability. We should be able to be strong enough with Warchant plus Hold, which means 80% damage, 80% armor. We gotta make sure to give them Bleeds. Don't die, Pikeman. Hopefully we'll be able... Look, he has still Peasants on the field. Oh, there was a mistake to give them Bleeds though. We will just lose more money. He's level 5. And they are able to win the 1v1 situation. I mean, to be honest, my pikemen were badly damaged, but still, you know. Don't lose the last remaining war guide battalion. That's very important. He has the outpost under his control, but it's okay. Lourdes, try to get level 5, my friend. Or level 3 at least for the carnage. That's very important. Oh my goodness, the war guide. The thing is about the war guide is, guys, compared to Rohirrim and Gondonites, they are so hard to be controlled, you know. And we have almost rain too. Rain is gonna be good. Um, but first of all, we need to make some combos. The thing about the combos is I, I don't personally like the pikemen and crossbowmen combination. I don't like that. Uh, I personally like the crossbowmen and uruk combination a bit more. And then I can put some pikemen in between. You know what I'm saying? I want to cripple this guy, but my cripple is yet again on cooldown. Oh, 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 I don't know about that. Rohirrim, you will lose. You will lose. Okay, we have one combo. And now you see yourself with your own eyes how expensive the one combo is. With heavy armor, fire, and banner all alone. Okay, now we can move a little bit on. But we gotta keep in mind that Warchan is on cooldown. It means we need to be a bit careful. And I don't know if we can actually take down this. I might need to go for a Tainted Land boss. Just, you know, to be ready to cover his own elven wood. Uh, as Isengard against Rohan, you don't want to be the one who is using the land first. You want to be the one who is covering the elven wood when it's being used. Okay, we need more and more units on the field. ASAP. Um, yeah, I won't be able to catch him, unfortunately. But this time, this level 5 will hit him. Oh, but he's summoning elves once again. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we have heavy armor too, but I don't think they can survive this. They have also Tyrion leadership. They are dealing more damage. They have more armor. And we have only one single combination. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I'm going to cripple him. Cripple him, dude. Cripple him, cripple him, cripple him. Lords, you are driving me crazy. Okay, war chance. Now we got to try to kill him. Uh, bring the pikeman in, in the position to protect the combo battalion. 
Is he gonna use heal on him though? That's a big question. Hopefully not. Hopefully he has no more heal. If oh, we need to cover this, boys. We need to cover this. I wanted to go for the freezing rain, but we can't. So now he has no more leadership on this tainted land, and we have no damage yet, as you can see and tell, right? But I think Tildin is gonna still die to the pikeman. Yes, sir. That's good. Okay, that's good. We got away actually with it. Uh, as long as we can save the combo level two, we should be in a good spot. Killed all the pikemen with the Elven Warriors. He's playing so smart. The targeting from him is so smart. Oh, Lord. 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 Run the fighting Urukai. You are a fight. You are not a fighting Urukai. You are a dead Urukai, Lord. Actually, that's horrible. Dude, we lost the combo. We lost the pikemen. We lost the Lord. And we, but we killed only Theodine. That's. Trust me, that's not worth it. But we have money now. Because the outpost is giving us so much money over time, and we will have Saruman very soon. I mean, there is always hope. Never give up, never surrender. It's an attack! Listen up! Keep going! Oh, I think he found out he found about the outpost. <laughs> Now he found about the outpost at least, and I, I don't think we will be able to keep this outpost for a long time because he has, uh, you know, Legolas, and Legolas is gonna be able to take it down. We need to wait for Saruman and we can move on. There we go. A new power is rising, and victory, hopefully, is at hand. Can I catch this Legolas though? I'm curious. Hopefully, yes. Go, 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 lords, 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 lords. He's paying attention. I'm gonna use Palantir on, on him to make him faster. Oh, he's, he's, <laughs> this guy's zooming now. Catch him, catch him. Oh my, I missed it. I missed it. Lords, you are a pure disappointment this game, my friends. You are a pure disappointment. I mean, I cannot blame you. It's my fault, though. <laughs> Look, this Lego, that's so annoying now. How can I how can I chase him? He's using knife fight and he's actually zooming himself. Oh my goodness, dude! I'm so tilted. I'm gonna actually try to. Oh, he's destroying my citadel too. Firebolt, Saruman, do it, do it, Saruman. Turn, turn. Saruman needs two hours to use the fireball and I missed it too. What is happening to my heroes this game, dude? What is happening? I miss critical. I miss fireball. What is happening? Am I, am I cursed or what? I'm about to lose my mind this game, boys. It's really not... Oh, he has Aragorn to has the entire Fellowship in front of my gate. And the thing is, I don't even have a gate. <laughs> I mean, okay, good. We need we need rain now, because now he has also a Theodore leadership, right? Uh, I mean, Aragorn leadership. Which means also more DPS. So Theoden and Aragorn, they give you leadership right off the bat when they join the battlefield. And when they stay together, it's actually insanely strong. So with Theoden and, and Theoden, he has even more leadership than I do. Because my loot is not level 5 yet. Okay, we gotta fight this. I'm gonna use Fireball. Um, the thing is about Saruman, I gotta be careful though, because he has Legolas. And I'm sure that the second Legolas gets the chance, he will start shooting our Saruman down all the time. We need more units on the field, boys. And we have, I think we are in a tricky situation in which we cannot really leave the base. <laughs> um, because he has mobile units, the Rohirrim, with, you know, Rohirrim Archer with fire arrows. And the second we leave the base, okay, can I, can I risk it? Like this, and you run, 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 you white wizard, run, 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 okay, okay, you wanna charge in, I don't know about that, I don't know about that, okay, nice, so we actually got a beautiful fireball, and that's what we need to do, we need to rotate with the powers of the, of the white wizard, and try to get as many power points collected as we potentially can, uh, and he is, this guy hurts even when my Saruman is nearby, with 50% armor, he has even combos on the field, Elven allies, it's gonna be big fights. Uh, can I steal them? Fight for me and I will reward you. Okay, we gotta cover this. I don't know about what he did there, to be honest. But my lords just got one shotted. My Saruman. He'll kill you at least. Okay. I mean, we can still fight this maybe. I don't know. We are on the, on the tainted land. We need to revive the wizard first. We don't wanna use rain here in this spot. There is no reason to use rain. 
Aragorn is annoying. How can we deal with Aragorn though without leadership? We have only Tinted Land Armor and that's not gonna be enough to kill Aragorn. He seems to not have Anduril yet. Oh my goodness man, he's so annoying. It's so annoying. He's so tanky. He has so many combos too. Rohirrim Archer, level 7 peasant Yeoman Archer combo battalion, Legolas. What an absolute fiesta, boys. What can I do? What can I do against such a reckless eight? I mean, the good thing is I have the output still. I'm getting still some money from it. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm not defeated yet. Dude, I don't know. Like, we need Lourdes level 5. And this Legolas is not gonna let us do that. Come on, Saruman, I need you. Yes, Elven Warriors too. This guy has legit everything that Rohan has to offer, boys. I can fireball this. Uh, level 7 combo. Come on, Saruman. Run, you fool. Be faster, dude. Why are you slow? You cannot contend like this. with the will of Pew, boom on your face, son. You see how much damage Legolas is dealing with like two shots? We gotta be extremely careful, boys. We gotta be extremely careful. Okay, Lourdes is almost back in the business. That's good. We need to kind of send them back and wait them you know, until they recover over time. That's the thing about the evil factions, because you have no well, and you need to have every single unit you want to have recovered at bare minimum to level 2. The good thing is though that we can level them up all the time with Saruman's speechcraft. Every time it's available, we can use it. But he's actually pretty annoying. I want to cripple Legolas, if I can. Okay. Can we kill him though? <laughs> That's the golden question. Oh my goodness, do you see how... He's chunking my Saruman. But it's, but it's okay. I think he's dead. I don't know if he has healed, but if not, he's gonna be dead. I'm gonna use the rain too. That means we have. Oh, look, look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's on the hands for my for my wizard. Okay, we killed him. That's good. And in the meantime, we will be out. We will be losing, unfortunately, our outpost. But it's okay, I guess. We have now a great amount of money, and Saruman was able to survive. And we are getting power points collected. If there is one thing going in our favor, I think we are ahead in the PowerPoint department. And this guy doesn't want to give us any money. He is actually annoying every single time. Sending peasants in 50 minutes into the game to destroy one of my mills. It's annoying. I mean, I'm only saying that because he's playing good, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I mean, we need 13 PowerPoints for the Balrog boys. That's the hope of the day. I don't think... I, would, I wish we would be able to push him back, you know what I'm saying, to go to the outpost, but it's so risky, because the thing is, when you want to engage on a fight, you want to always ask yourself, what do I gain of that fight, and what might I potentially lose of that? And if I go to the outpost, I win the fight, for example, I gain the outpost control. But if I lose the fight, I will lose my castle, so it's not worth it. The thing you might eventually get is so much worse than the thing you might eventually lose, if this makes sense for you guys. But I want to take my own outpost back. And you see, the second I'm moving out, and that's what I'm talking about, you see that? The second I'm moving out, the second he sees me on the minimap, the second he knows what I'm up to, he's gonna come with all he got to my main castle. He is waiting for me to make a mistake like this. And I won't give him the satisfaction, guys. Trust me on that one. Okay, we need Saruman back in the business. He's still slowly recovering. He has very high leveled units. They are shining bright like a diamond. With double leadership from King Theoden and Aragorn, Araton's son. I'm gonna try to aim for Theoden with the towers. And hopefully, I don't know. Rain is on cooldown. Boom! Fireball on your face, son. Okay, we took the, uh, we destroyed the outpost. At least it's good. We need 11 power points now for the for the Balrog. We have work to do. Oh my goodness! What are my pikemen doing? Our army is looking strong. We need to also we need to have like we need to have like two armies. You know what I'm saying? One inside the castle and one we can rotate with. You wanna fight this? We gotta kill Theoden though. Um, he, you might say, but there is Aragorn and stuff. Yeah, but Theoden's leadership is just too good. And look, he's hard, hardcore focusing down my heroes. 
Okay, wir nehmen uns hier. Du make them faster. And with the, with the war channel now, we gotta try to get as many power points collected as we potentially can. Our units are very strong. And with each level they gain, they will become even stronger and stronger and stronger. I think at the outpost, I will be rebuilding the war pit and will again start to fight for the map control. I think that's very important because he has now multiple level 3 farms. He's literally growing rich. I mean, I know it's it's not ideal situation. We are in a camp play playstyle, but the thing is, I cannot really do much about this mobility. Yes, you know, the chance for him to hit and run, hit and run, it's very tough. For that reason, when we want to fight for the map control, we need work riders. But we have no money for the war pit yet. Okay, we need to stay on the on the Tinder land. We need to maximize our leadership bonuses. So the, on the Tinder land, we have in total 30% increased armor with, you know, Saruman 80 percent armor. Lord is still not level 5 yet. So that means, as we are talking, we have no damage leadership whatsoever until we get the war chant or Lord's level 5. But it's a huge army, dude. <laughs> we do this. We record this. Like this. Okay, nice. Saruman is almost level 8. It's gonna unlock the build of Saruman for healing. Okay. Uh, he made a mistake, though. He used the uh, Elvin Wood, and he knows that I have my own team that land. Oh, he has Cloud Break now. I will use the will of Saruman. Boom. Healing. My Rene is still on cooldown. I want to cripple somebody. Cripple? Cripple? Nice. Aragon cannot move anymore. Cloud Break does reduce our armor and movement speed, but we have we are still on Tainted Land. And Lourdes is almost level 5. Come on, Lourdes. I'm gonna put him in the army. Hopefully he will get to share experience here with the, with this. Ooh, this guy is so tanky! This guy is so tanky! How? Dude, I'm shooting him with my entire army and he doesn't wanna die. Finally, dude. Finally. That's, a, that's actually a good fight for us, guys. Boom, now we are talking. Now Lourdes is level 5. Now our leadership is crazily strong. We have 15 power points in the bank. Almost 16. I think we gotta build a bit, though, because he has still so many stuff to shoot us down all the time. Now when he's on the team, then we can return. Now, now he has no more leadership available. He has level 10 combos, too. And don't underestimate this peasant Yeoman Archer combo battalion, by the way. They are also very strong. We have now Rain. Boom! Fireball on your face, son. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't. Oh my goodness, he's getting chunked. Chunked hardcore. We have 17 power points collected. We need only 3 power points more for the Balrog Summon boys. I don't want this. Uh, I don't want this level 10 combos to survive, but it is how it is. Okay, now we have Warc Riders on the field. That's good. We can now start once again to fight for the map control. And. Uh, we need to make like a coordination with the Balrog summon. We need to try to take down the outpost and also the main castle at the same time. But the problem is our rain is gonna be on cooldown and fighting at the outpost against Rohan when you're when your rain is on cooldown it's kinda tricky because he has also insane amount of leadership bonuses. You will have Aragorn and Tyrion, plus the statue, plus the well for the infinite sustain. Our Warka is actually hammering this farm down. And I don't want to fight out around the outpost if I know my rain is on cooldown. Because we can literally throw the game. I think we have a huge lead in the PowerPoint department. He just used the Cloud Break for the first time. So I'm assuming he's still at bare minimum 7 power points away from his EOD. And remember, evil factions can collect the power points a bit faster than good factions because we also collect power points from losing units and heroes. And that's the reason why Balrog costs 20 power points and AOD only 10 power points. Okay, we have a huge army now, we have full population, and we are trying to be a, a, a bit annoying, but you can see, you know, fighting against the Rohirrim and Rohirrim Archer combination outside of the castle with the war riders seems to be literally impossible. Like, we can be annoying, but we cannot contest him when he is trying to fight us, we gotta, we gotta bail. We need to disengage. Okay, so we have a huge army now. I think he has no Glorious Charge. I think he has no EOD. Dealing with this army is only possible when we fight at the Outpost, and we don't want that to happen yet. Yet. But with Rain, we can actually try to hit and run, you know, a bit. Oh, Aragorn, I see him. If we can cripple him down, it's gonna be a huge achievement. Can we cripple him down? Is he paying attention? 
Yo, nice. Okay, now we can commit. Because when we kill Aragorn, we can do whatever we want. We gotta be able to hero, so we, we wanna make sure that we are not feeding him. Power points. Oh my goodness, my lord got one shot in, my friend. Boom, fireball. We have 20 power points on, almost in the bank. Balrog is finally unlocked, that's good. We are winning this fight hardcore, but you see him trying to focus down our heroes hardcore, right? He was able to burst down uh, lords, but our Saruman was barely able to survive. Now the question is, can we kill this Aragorn though? <laughs> no, we can't, because the ability of Cripple is released now and he will get away. He's fast. But the thing is, we have level 10 combos now. Level 8 combos now. Level 6 combos now. Boom, heal. The Will of Saruman. None, no one can contest the Will of Saruman. And now I'm looking to get inside the jeans, boys. I summon the Balrog of Morgoth. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, um... I want to also destroy the outpost, though. I mean, I want to go to the outpost, which he is trying to destroy at this point. Let's use Breath Fire. Uh, he has tailed in here. Um, <laughs> but Lord is back in the business already and we have damage leadership. Remember, we have, you know, Isengard army against army strength is literally unmatched. Basically, you can, when there is an army stronger than you, you can press one button. And this button is called Freezing Rain. And you will be once again the stronger army, you know, every single time. Can I destroy this? He destroyed the outpost. I don't want to commit to the outpost at the bottom left side yet. You know, my, my freezing rain is on cooldown. I don't want to do this. I would miss. I was cancelling this. Okay. Let's recapture this outpost. Because now we can buy this castle. We have so much money. We can do this. Buy this castle. Okay. And nice. You. Nice, you boys. What is Theoden King doing? Theoden King stands alone. <laughs> Not alone. You need... Hey. Theoden King, you need to call Rohirrim and Ganoth. That's oh, but he's sandwiching us. I think he's trying to get power points collected. But in the meantime, we can build the second castle. That's the second time he's using the cup break, but Theoden cannot move. And with Theoden, he's losing an important part of his leadership bonuses. I don't know how many times we killed Theoden in this game. I think like six or eight times. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Look, our army is moving in slow motion. Because Cloudbreak, besides stunning the enemy units when they are below level 3, and they, and, you know, unless they are fear resistant, it's also reducing their armor and movement speed by 30% each, like 10 seconds. Which is a very good ability, by the way. It's super underrated. I'm gonna buff their movement speed now. We need to cripple down this Aragorn. Again, I think he's trying to get power points collected for the EOD. Boom. Um, Beal, we're gonna heal him. Nice, we healed him. We have too much leadership at this point. We have in total 110% more damage leadership with Lords and Warchant. And keep in mind that every combo of us is higher leveled. We have even level 10 combos. And each level they get additional boost in terms of damage. GG well played, guys. Let's gonna call it. It was a fun game to, for me to play. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, guys.